Today I will show you how to make this doily. First make sure the racking handle is in its lowest position. Raise 25 needles on the front bed. Place the edge springs on the last needles. Use the orange ruler and arrange the needles in one to one division. Set the front lock to N and the stitch size to 1. Set the back lock to GX. Insert the black strippers and take the waist yarn. I'm using only one strand of waist yarn. Knit one row. On the front bed increase the stitch size to 4. Raise the needles between the edge springs, tap on them to tighten the yarn and knit one row to finish the cast on. On the front lock increase the stitch size to 5. Tap on the needles and knit 20 rows with the waist yarn. Do you know that I am reading each and every comment? I will be happy if you tell me something in the comment section. Clear the row counter and set the front lock to BX. Now take the main color yarn. I will use two strands for the doily. Raise pushers and the row needles in working position. Lower the front bed and attach weights at each end of the waist yarn. Raise the front bed and knit one row. Use the single transferring tool and transfer the stitches shown in the video one needle to the right. After transferring the stitches leave the empty needles in working position. Level the needles with the orange ruler and knit one row. Put two pushers on left in resting position and knit one row. Transfer the stitches shown in the video one needle to the right. Leave the empty needles in working position. Level the needles and knit one row. Always check if the rightmost stitch is knitted off correctly. Put two pushers on left in resting position and knit one row. Transfer the stitches shown in the video one needle to the right. Knit to the right, put two pushers on left in resting position and knit one row. Then continue transferring the stitches. Knit one row and check the rightmost needle. Put two pushers on left in resting position and knit one row. Now transfer the shown stitches one needle to the right. Knit one row, put two pushers in resting position and knit to the left. We are almost ready. Transfer the stitches again. Knit one row and lower two pushers. Knit one row and make the final transfer. Knit the last row. You must have 13 pushers in working position. At this point you can put all pushers in working position and continue the same way until you need all 16 wedges. When you need the last wedge set the front lock to end and take the waist yarn. Knit 20 rows with the waist yarn. Move the lock to the color changer and leave all eyelets there. Remove the weights and knit one row to remove the knitted piece from the machine. It should look like this. 
Now we have to sew it using the Kitchener stitch and remove the waste yarn. That's my seam, now I will remove the waste yarn and I will show you the final result. I like to iron everything so I will iron it using steam. And that's the final result. You can close the center by drawing the loops on a string. In the next video I will show you how to make another variation of the same doily. That's all for today, thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you in my next video!